So I got this big box full of shoes and make around $40 on that pair. Here are all the orders from yesterday packaged up. Today I'm going to stream on Whatnots doing $39 starts and tomorrow I will be doing $1 starts. So I will show you all the pairs I sold in the next episode. An hour and a half later and I just finished streaming on Whatnot. I ended up selling five pairs of shoes so let's go over what I sold. Sold a pair of Nike Air Zoom Pegasus 38 Triple Black, a pair of Air Jordan 2 Black Cement Gray, a pair of Nike Legend Central 3 Smoke Gray, a pair of Adidas NMD R1 Cloud White, and lastly, a pair of Nike LeBron Witness 7 Dream Fuchsia. All right, let's have these orders from yesterday and today packaged up and shipped out. My name's Ellis and I've been reselling sneakers on and off for around four years. I mainly sell sneakers on Whatnot, but I also do sell some shoes on eBay. And to start off this episode, I made a sale on eBay. I sold a pair of these Converse Run Star Motions. It's a super unique shoe and a super elevated midsole. So originally I bought this pair on Whatnot. They were doing $1 starts and in total I bought that pair for $23. And on eBay I sold it for $75. So after fees, I make around $40 on that pair, but I still have to pay for a label. So I'm going to say I make around $30 on that pair. So that was a super good turnaround. Typically, I buy some shoes on and off on eBay because especially at $1 starts, some shoes can go for super low and there's super good opportunities to make profit. So I'm going to have these Converse packaged up so we can have them shipped out today. Yesterday, I went sourcing for some sneakers. I stopped by Ross and I stopped by a couple Nike and Adidas outlets. During that time I was sourcing, I ended up picking up 40 pairs of shoes. So I'm going to show you all the current inventory that I have for my next restock on whatnot. Before I show you guys the inventory, I just want to say this isn't all the pairs that I sourced yesterday. I've been sourcing over the past months around twice a week, picking up these pairs so I can have a good selection of shoes ready for my next restock. First I got this big box full of shoes. This Ikea bag's full of some shoes that I need to clean the bottoms a little bit of. I believe these bottoms aren't bad. I think maybe it's the other shoe. Yeah, like the bottom's a little dirty, so I'm going to clean those up a little bit just because they probably were tried on in the store. We got another container full of shoes right here. All under this desk are a ton of shoes in boxes, and then we got some more shoes right here. So in total for my next whatnot restock, I have a little over 100 pairs. Now, last time my goal was to hit 100 pairs for the restock, which I did end up hitting, but this time I didn't have a goal of a certain quantity. I really wanted to focus on the quality of the shoes that I sourced. I definitely did try some different shoes that I hadn't bought before, but I made sure if I'm trying different shoes I hadn't bought before to get them in good sizes. Good sizes that sell good for me are like men's sizes 10 through 13, and then women's sizes like 7.5 through 9.5. Those are what do well for me. So if I see some shoes, haven't bought it before, but at a good price point, if it's between those good sizes, then I'll definitely pick it up just so I can try it. And then, then if it sells good, I can try smaller sizes too. What I learned from my last restock was just not to go willy nilly. I found some shoes at a good price point and I ended up picking up way more than one, three to four pairs. And some of them I haven't even moved yet. So lesson learned was if I see a shoe, it looks cool, just try one pair before I go and buy multiples. So as for today, I did stream on Whatnot. So I streamed for an hour and a half and ended up selling seven pairs of shoes and it ran two giveaways. Originally, my plan was to have this show be $1 starts, liquidate on the rest of my inventory and give back to you guys. But the $1 starts didn't end up working out. I tried to start shoes at a dollar, but I didn't have enough people and I honestly didn't have much engagement in the chat. So I decided to pivot and I just did fixed starts. So I didn't start the shoes at like one set price, like 59 or 39. I just started shoes based on how much I sourced them for. I would start them a few dollars more so I could pretty much break even on all the pairs. So basically every pair that you see, I broke even, made a few dollars or lost a few dollars. But let me show you the pairs that I sold. I firstly sold a pair of Nike Roche 1 Desert Ores, two pairs of 
Adidas NMD R1 Core White, a pair of Adidas Adistar 2.0 Green Spark, two pairs of Nike Roche 1 C Corals, and a pair of Nike Air Max SC Rose Whispers. As for the giveaways, I gave away this pair of Adidas socks that I actually won from a giveaway on Whatnot, and I gave away a pair of sneaker shoe trees. So typically, I like having my order shipped out the same day. But unfortunately, I didn't have time to get them shipped out, so I'm going to have them packaged up. Then I think in the morning I'm going to try to do a USPS pickup, so they come by my house and pick up the packages. Um, hopefully, I think I'm going to try to do that tomorrow, but I'm going to have the orders packaged up, then I'll have them dropped off. Here are all the orders from yesterday packaged up, and I've got a couple more to add. And I streamed on Whatnot again today. So like I said yesterday, I tried to do $1 starts yet again today. Unfortunately, it didn't work out and I didn't end up making any sales. So I ended up giving away two shoe trees, but I wasn't able to sell any other pairs. I think what happened this time is I didn't build up enough hype for the $1 starts and I just tried to pivot way too fast. I went in with the expectations of pretty much not doing $1 starts. As well, I streamed earlier in the day. Maybe that has something to do with it. I don't know, a lot of variables were different, but ultimately I gained some followers, learning some lessons of things not to do. I think for next time, $1 starts, gonna try the same time, and worst comes to worst, if it don't make any sales, what I'm gonna do with the leftover inventory is just have it transferred over to my next restock. So I have a little over 10 pairs that I'm just gonna have transferred over, and then hopefully eventually I make sales. But the idea is, even if they weren't selling well on my last restock, I'll have more options for this restock. So new people come in and they have a lot more pairs to go through. And who knows, maybe they'll like one of the pairs from my previous restock. As well, after I got off my Whatnot livestream, I ended up selling a pair on eBay. Let me show you what I sold. I sold my last pair of Nike Air Force One White Picante Red. So if you guys remember, I think it's been a couple months since I've sold one of these pairs but I sold in total three pairs of these Air Force Ones on eBay, each of them profiting around $15 a pair. All right, so let's have my orders packaged up and then have my orders from yesterday and today dropped off. Today, I made two sales on eBay. Let me show you guys what I sold. First, I sold a pair of KD16BADs and a pair of Nike Air Max Terrascapes. So both these sold on eBay and in total, I profit a little under $30. So eBay sales have been picking up recently and that's really nice, making a bit more profit on each pair compared to what I normally sell and whatnot. So the trade-offs or the differences between eBay or whatnot in at least my case, Whatnot seems like more volume, but for me, it's less profit per pair versus eBay, which is slower volume, but more profit per pair. Now, personally, I prefer the volume just because being able to move a consistent amount of inventory is more reliable than having to wait for a bigger sale and then it's just not as consistent. All right, let's have those two orders packaged up so we can have them shipped out today. <laughs> 